John and Brian here talking about alternatives to using, or if you're going to be using glyphosate, alternative solutions, effective solutions, uh, reducing weed uh, resistance when using glyphosate. So many weeds do not die very well at the one quart per acre of glyphosate. My recommendation is generally using 1.5 to 2 quarts per acre per application. Glyphosate works most effective when weeds are actively growing, not when they're dormant. When the weeds are actively growing in an ideal air temperatures for spraying is 60 to 80 degrees. Ideal window for most weeds to die effective is 1 to 4 inches. When weeds get beyond that window, we can see potential for um, stunting, but not complete kill. Why we create Roundup or glyphosate tolerant weed resistance is because when you guys spray and you don't 100% kill, if you don't 100% kill what you're spraying, you're setting yourself up for failure in the future. That's what we don't want to do. Some weeds that don't die very well with glyphosate, even if we're using glyphosate to kill a myriad of weeds, we can use some cocktail blends. I strongly suggest if you're spraying in quack grass, marsh grasses, things of that nature to use uh, 16 ounces of clethodum, same practice you're using on your clovers per acre, along with the one and a half to two quarts of glyphosate as a cocktail blend. If you got broadleafs to kill, especially some tougher broadleafs in some cases, we could use Roundup with um, Buterick 200, Roundup with Basagran. Uh, some cases pre-plant, you got to wait just a little longer to plant, but you use glyphosate with 2,4-D, very cheap. 240 hammers out most broadly so they're tough to kill. But again, you have a lot, I usually say wait more like 10 to 14 days versus 7 to 10 days to plant thereafter. That is another cocktail blend you can be using um, um, in, in unison. Um, and again, there's some other solutions. We can do some posting of that. Um, maybe I'll create a spreadsheet to help you. So again, um, glyphosate also, um, you know, as I talked about, there's negative effects on the soil, microbial um, harm, things of that nature. So, again, glyphosate. Too many people, again, we mentioned we want to have total kill. But what happens is in a lot of cases, people spray around it, and they don't see a good kill. And they go back two weeks, three weeks later. You really should be waiting till you've got plants that are not stressed out yet to respray with glyphosate. What could that entail? It could also mean that you go back and you clip off those weeds that didn't totally die, encourage a little bit of weed growth again, and then respray. That could be 30 days later. Some of you guys are like, well, I can't wait 30 days later. Well, that's why you want to plan and spray for success ahead of time so you don't have that issue. Um, anyway, because that is something I see, I hear so much. I mean, I know guys are spraying two, three, four applications during a year of glyphosate. Not good science for the soil, not good science for full, for kill. And again, for glyphosate to work effectively, we need healthy weeds. Here's something else a lot of people don't know about, don't think about, don't talk about. Social media, experts, people, and you and me. I know I don't talk about it enough. So the other thing is soil CC. I, I, I was going to say pH. That's what everybody says. Soil pH. Low pH. You don't have quite as healthy of plants, weeds, etc. You don't see good weed kill. True. But again, it isn't just pH, it's CAC. So you guys got sandy ground. You guys got stressed, the poor soil health. Um, that's another reason for having healthy soil because guess what? Healthy soil, your weeds are going to die more effectively. But then again, if you have healthy soil, you're probably having less than particular certain weeds that thrive on unhealthy soil. So again, with Integrated weed management to be talked about at Grand Parade Fest. We're not going to talk about that here. We're just talking about we want to spray healthy weeds to have them kill when it's warm enough, when they're in that one to four inch window, applying with ammonium sulfate or one of my liquid uh, plant foods, right? And that's our tips of the day from John O'Brien with Grand Parade Outdoors to try to have you be more effective if Roundup is still part of your management plan. Have a great day.